Now, when looking at a breakout room, your customization icons for it are over here on the left-hand side. So if you don't see this on the left, you might need to actually click the customize button. So that customize button toggles on and off this toolbar. So the first icon in this toolbar is the setting a spawn spot. So what this means is that when individuals enter this room, this is where they're going to start. Now you might wanna do this because you have specific information right on this area that you want people to see before they start doing other things. With this spawn spot, you can click on it and then you can drag it around your space. You can delete it if you're like, actually they can just show up wherever. And this is also only visible, this icon is only visible to the admins. The participants don't actually see the spawn spot, they just show up in it. I'm okay for participants to go wherever they want to, so I'm just gonna not include it in this breakout room. But maybe in another breakout room, I might wanna use that. The next thing you can do is change the background. So by clicking on this icon, I actually have a lot of options. I can choose one of the backgrounds that Spatial Chat has created. So this is a nice, cozy fireplace. This looks really nice for my participants for maybe a nice dinner party I'm hosting. Ah, so warm. <laughs> the other things that you can do is you can upload an image. So maybe you created something very specific to the type of event you're hosting. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a background. I'm gonna do a town hall meeting where I'm gonna have multiple small groups that I want people to join. Now the best resolution, if you're going to do your own background, like you see here, is 3200 by 1800 pixels. If you forget that, which is very possible that you might, this is also posted in the upload. So it says the best size is 3200 by 1800. If you do other sizes, that is totally okay. You just might see a decline in the resolution within your space. Finally, you can also link to an image. So if you find a really cool image on the internet and you wanna use that as your background, you can just directly link to it. So in another tab, I have Google Images open and I'm just gonna search Spatial Chat. And I'm gonna look for an image that I really like. Um, so let's do uh, this image. It looks like they're watching a concert, which looks pretty freaking cool. I'm just gonna check out the website real quick. Oh, Spatial Chat's gotten five out of five stars. That's awesome. So here's my image that I wanna use. I'm gonna right click on this image and do copy image address. I essentially want the URL for that image. I'm gonna go back into Spatial Chat. I'm gonna paste that URL. It'll show me a little preview of the image to make sure that is what I want. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? That looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And so here I am in this concert with all of these other people within Spatial Chat. But honestly, I kind of like the coziness of this fireplace. Um, so I'm just gonna go back to the fireplace one. We'll chill here by the fire. So we've got the spawn spot, we've done the background. Now you can also change some background settings. So the scrolled background, currently when I click, it drags the background to different parts of the background. But if you undo scrolled background, you see the background stays still, and then you can kind of still move around the space. This setting's a little confusing, so I would recommend just keep it on as a scrolled background. If it's getting later at night and you're trying to set the mood, you can change the brightness. And you can also change when participants come into a room, how zoomed in or zoomed out they are at. They can change that, but this is just what's default when they first come into the space. So that's it for your background settings. Now, as a reminder, this is per room. These settings are for just this breakout room, the welcome room. If I were to go into the networking room, it would have completely different settings. If you are like, you know what? I hate everything that I've done. You can also just restore everything to default and it'll go back to how it originally was. So here's our original background that was already in this space. And then when you're finished, you can click done and it's just gonna hide that toolbar. Again, if I go to the networking room, 
This happens to have the same background. I'm gonna change it to something else real quick. If I go back to the welcome room, it still has my same settings for the welcome room. So these options are completely unique. 